Starting off with the main topic of the day, the Yasuo mains have found a new mechanic, which is clearly unintended, so I guess it makes it a bug. That was what I thought until I saw this play from Composites on Twitter. Check it out. Oh my god! Now to explain what's actually happening here, we have Kamari, a Haile Yasuo from NA. Let's have a look at his example. This is the Kurt Cobain Yasuo build. Huh? Still not really knowing uh, what I'm watching, I reached out to him on Discord to ask exactly how to do it. It's actually pretty simple. You just have to E a target, then press base, then E another target, and you should just be able to E again once it's off cooldown. Kamari warns it is in a fixed direction though, it can only go right. He did tell me that you do have to EQ the first target to spin, but when I tested to see how easy to copy it was, I was able to do it without the spin. So I don't know, just try and figure it out yourself. So yeah, big thanks to Kamari for the assist with this bug. He makes really funny content over on his TikTok and his stream will be in the description too. Make sure you check him out. Now, just quickly, if you've ever been entertained or learned something new from my content, a sub goes a long way and you can always change your mind later. Thank you in advance. On to the next story, the newest T1 Academy recruit, Reckless, appeared on Cajal stream recently, but in an interview dropped some news no one was expecting. Check it out. 2023 starts, I don't have time to make this evaluation, but I get the bench from Fnatic and I go back to Sweden. I'm thinking this is a perfect time to do this. So I'm going to do this. Yeah. I make the, the whole thing. Uh, in September, I get my uh, diagnosis. I have high functioning autism or I'm on the autism spectrum. Yeah. Uh, before you would call it Asperger's, but you do not call this, call it this anymore because he has some bad history. So you do not use that word anymore. You call it just being on the autism spectrum. And my first instinct was, oh my God, my life is over. After getting the diagnosis, my life has just been better. Straight up, just better. Things make sense more? Yeah, because now I understand why some things in the past did not work the way I wanted them to. And why, for example, I was really successful in Fnatic because I was in the same team every year with the same people in the same environment. Mm. This is perfect for someone with my diagnosis. But when I started changing team, new people every year, new situations to be in, this is not good for someone like me. One thing I also want to highlight was something that user Mel on Twitter brought up. After Reckless expressed his diagnosis to T1, they immediately made changes to accommodate for this, really giving him the environment to facilitate productive and comfortable practice. For organizations that success and failures ultimately depend on the keyboard pilots, this was a really smart move from T1 and showed how much they value their players, because I know a lot of orgs around the world wouldn't have had the initiative to do something like this. Hats off to T1. If you want to watch the full interview, the link will be in the description, and it's honestly worth watching because Cajal and Reckless are just really good dudes. Up next, a Malphite VGU may not be far away at all, which Riot kind of revealed on accident, which is a recurring trend for them. As we can see in the Skana theme video on their YouTube, around midway through, the big rock looks pretty different. I can't help but think Riot does this stuff on purpose to generate hype, but anyway, I definitely wasn't the first to notice this. In fact, I first saw it via Nicky Boy's Twitter, but he also held the top comment on that video too. I don't really know when to expect this, Riot has yet to address it, but I mean, it can't be too far from finished if they're using the asset in testing. And lastly for today, we have a clip of Adrian Riven really highlighting how broken the low death timers are in laning fades. Fast recall. Thank you. See, if I didn't die, I wouldn't have spawned, I wouldn't have gotten back fast enough to be able to kill Chase there. To expand on this, if Adrian had a backed off to a brush fully, then started basing, he would have been maybe five to six seconds behind. But because he executed and his death timer was eight seconds, the same duration as a recall, this execute was literally the optimal play. Those five to six seconds would have allowed the Shaco to escape. His links will also be in the description. Anyway, that'll do us for today. Probably a bit of a shorter video, but there hasn't been a lot happening lately, but I do have a huge league project I'm working on. Should be able to expand more on this once my storyboard artist has some work to show. So with that, I wish you the absolute most luck in solo queue today because my good friend Mr. Bruv definitely didn't have any in this clip. Thanks for watching. Bye. When's the blitz hook up? Ah! Oh my god, how disgusting!